Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. So if I sound like I'm being smothered, just know that I'm not. It's just my sinuses have been acting so crazy today. Uh, it's, I'm ready for the warm weather to come in. I'm not necessarily a, a spring or summer type of person. I'm more of a, a fall type of guy, but I'm telling you, I am so ready for these winter months to be over. They absolutely kill me. I guess they're cozy months. It's pretty whenever it snows outside, but they absolutely destroy me. But enough about that. Uh, let's talk about... Night of the Living Dead. Now, I have the criterion for this, and I never thought, and this is a silly thing to bring up, but one of the reasons why I didn't check out this film for so long um, is mainly because it is in the public domain. Now, I have seen it, and I've seen parts of it, uh, but sitting down and watching it in its entirety, and I'm actually not the first person, even watching a video of somebody else talk about this film, I'm not the first person to even, you know, say that. Like, it, it really is... Especially whenever you're younger. Um, it's a hard film to sit down and get into, uh, at least in, in my opinion. Uh, it, but the funny thing is, and I'll, and I'll post the pictures on the screen, but when we did our short film, uh, Neon Snuff, I put Night of the Living Dead in there because it's in the public domain. And then uh, our feature film we shot over the summer, this is going to be a low-quality image because we haven't really said anything much about it. It's almost edited. But uh, we put Night of the Living Dead in it again. Uh, I don't know why I like to do that. It's just, I don't know, it, it, it just... I don't know, it's so weird, but I'm ready to talk about the film. Now, this is actually the best version that you can get. This is the Criterion version. Uh, this has a lot of different things in it. It's got two commentary tracks, uh, and it's also, it has like the original uh, film uh, version the before the restoration. So it's, 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 it's a nice package. It really is. Uh, so if you're wondering why you would pay maybe thirty to forty dollars to pick up, you know, a film that you can watch for free, that's the reason why. So I would definitely recommend checking this version out because it, it is a solid version. Uh, the, I think the version that I had before, uh, it was it, it came in a triple pack. It was a it was a blue DVD. If you're watching this, you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, and you could get them at like Walmart. I think I think I got it at like Big Lots or, or Kmart uh, when, when Kmart was open. Uh, but it had three movies in it. It had Night of the Living Dead, Hard Rock Zombies, and something else. I forget what it was, but, um, you know, I really do enjoy Night of the Living Dead because I really do enjoy George Romero as a director. I think George Romero is just, I mean, he's, he's such a down-to-earth person, you know? Like, he's just, uh, listening to documentaries about him and, like, behind-the-scenes of uh, his films, he just seems like a really good person, you know, like, and especially his directing style. He's not the type of person uh, that goes on set and is trying to, you know, be a, a dictator. He 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 takes suggestions and, uh, you know, whatever makes his film good, even if it's if it's something that he came up with and somebody, you know, says something and it could be better, he's willing to do that. Because I've heard a few things about that uh, from the Dawn of the Dead documentary that I listened to. And that's how I'm trying to be because that's, that is, that really is, it, it takes a lot to do that, especially whenever it's your project. But George Romero, it seems like he's focused on the film uh, and that's how you should be. And it shows. I mean, it really does. Now, I can't speak for his later work because i actually have not seen like diary of the dead and survival of the dead i'm going to i'm going to and uh when i do these reviews i am going to review night of the living dead dawn of the dead and day of the dead uh but i don't think i'm going to uh, i might review land of the dead too but after i get done with these three i'm going to do a ranking of his of the dead films uh because i feel like his first three films are the ones that you should definitely sit down and talk about because those are the the good ones but night of the living dead now we owe a lot to this film because uh, if it wasn't for Night of the Living Dead, I mean, there probably wouldn't be a Walking Dead, uh, or at least the way that we see it. Uh, there probably wouldn't be a Left for Dead. There probably wouldn't be, you know, uh, Wreck, 28 Days Later. You know, it's it just what zombie, what George Romero did with the zombie genre. The genre, uh, well, I don't know if zombies consider a genre, but, but what he did with the subgenre. Uh, it's really impressive because, you know, I like the zombies in George Romero movies almost better than I like any other zombies because they're smart. When I was watching this, I was like, dang, these zombies know to pick up rocks. And I, I mean, if could you imagine if they could run or if the Walking Dead zombies acted this way? I mean, it really is. We owe a lot to George Romero. He definitely is the godfather of zombie films. Uh, 
you know, and it's crazy to think, I'm sure that somebody else would have done the, uh, the zombie genre if he wouldn't have done it. Uh, it might not have been the same way that he done it. And that's why I'm saying, you know, we owe a lot to this man, especially for some of the great stuff that, that's came out uh, considering zombies, uh, you know. And, and, and really, when I think about it, it's mainly, it, it really is Left for Dead for me because I love Left for Dead. Uh, and I just couldn't, I don't know, I just couldn't imagine not... Not having Left 4 Dead in my life. Uh, and also, too, I do have a question for you guys. Uh, what was the first zombie movie that they made where zombies actually started to run? I'm very curious about that because I don't know exactly which one it is. Uh, I've got an idea, but if I could get like a direct answer, I would really love that because I would love to check that out. Um, but pretty much, you know, th this film doesn't take you to too many places. You're mainly just in this farmhouse. Uh, and the zombies are trying to come in, and they're trying to fend them off. Uh, and George Romero does a great way of making the, the world outside of this farmhouse seem very alive with uh, TV uh, TV news reports. And, and that is an issue. Those news reports do go on a little bit long. I was sitting there. I was like, oh, come on. I just I need some action because there there's a part in this film. You could honestly almost shave like 10 minutes off of this film because there's a just a section where nothing goes on and... Uh, but yeah, that's that, that, that's the main issue that I have with it. But one thing that I, and this was something that I really wanted to talk about with this film, because, uh, this was 1968 and having a, a black lead in your film wasn't necessarily as popular as it is now, uh, and, and, you know, different time, you know, 1968, that's back when, yeah. Uh, and in this film, there is, there is a black lead and I actually, I, I applaud George Romero for that because that's risky. Uh, that That's risky. Now, watching this film today, obviously nobody's going to think about that. Uh, that's not going to be the first thing that they think of. But back then, when people see that, uh, and, you know, it's, it, it's going to trigger some people. You know, this film did pretty well when it, uh, when it first came out. Well, I don't think it did as well as it wanted to when it first came out. But then after that, uh, it did get a following pretty quickly i mean you know we got dawn of the dead day of the dead um so yeah that's uh i really do applaud george romero for that because that takes a lot of like i mean it sucks to say because it shouldn't but it takes a lot of guts you know to do that especially for your first film so applaud george romero for that but uh but yeah night of the living dead seriously if you're a fan of the zombie genre i get it it's black and white uh it's it's public domain but I think if you were to check out the Criterion version, it really, it actually makes this film seem more special to me. Because I wouldn't want to watch it on YouTube, uh, you know. I wouldn't want to watch it on some low quality DVD. It's, it, it really is nice to see this on a nice, you know, Criterion Blu-ray. Uh, it, and it, it's worth a watch, seriously. Definitely check it out. Uh, it's not my favorite George Romero zombie movie. It's not my favorite zombie movie. But hey, we wouldn't have zombies, you know, the way that we have them now if it wasn't for George Romero. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you guys are at. See y'all next time.